All right, guys, I got to try another Red Skull fight this war. Only one, though, so I don't really have a whole lot to show for it. Uh, unfortunately, the enemy did not have a whole lot of big, beefy Red Skulls for me to kill. Uh, a couple of the big ones that we did see got uh, plowed by in humans, which is, of course, the best counter to Red Skull, uh, especially large Red Skulls. I think the smaller ones are a bit more manageable, as you'll see. Um, however, uh, the team I chose here, and let's walk through this, um, I decided that, you know, my Cree teams don't really accomplish a whole lot, whether it's offense or defense. And let me back this up here for a sec just to show the powers of each character. Um, so here's my plan. Um, Cree Noble will allow for calling assists from Ronan every three turns. And when that happens, she'll give him offense up and he'll use his basic. Ronan's basic, I think, is perfect for killing or countering uh, Hydra and its minions because it removes the buffs before attacking and hitting with damage. Uh, he also hits pretty hard, too. So if they're close to nothing as, as far as health, but they have a little bit more, it'll possibly remove the death proof, or at least it has a chance, depending on how many buffs they have. It'll follow through with an attack, and it'll do damage and potentially uh, wipe out the minion so they revive and you waste another charge. And that's really the goal, is to keep going through the minions, cycling through them, and uh, getting those charges down so you can kill Red Skull. Um, so I think that's a really good combo. Of course, Ronan on his own, he also has Cleanse. He can call in minions, who also uh, could be Cree Nobles, who call more assists and more attacks. And uh, his ult, the ability block, is always a very good power power move. Uh, granted, he's not going to get to do it more than maybe once a fight, um, but still a very, very good attack. Uh, Ultimus, you can see my Ultimus isn't that beefy. He's only 40k, uh, although my team power is much higher than the enemy here. Uh, 153 versus 275k is a significant difference, but I mean, I've seen, you know, 300k defenders teams that can't get through or an entire Red Skull team. They either time out or they lose, um, you know, even with a 100k punch down. So, I mean, this is nothing to screw with. This is definitely a very difficult defense team that we need to figure out. So I really like Ultimus' kit because his ult will remove buffs and kind of use it against them, right, by doing more damage. And he goes after Hydra wrote a guard, so you'll see that here. Uh, I love, love the turn order on this team. It works really well against Red Skull, so I'm hoping I can find a bigger one next time to really try this with and see how it goes. Minerva is for sustain because I'm still concerned about healing. I don't think Oracle is going to be able to handle it unless it's a significant punch down, and even then I don't trust Oracle to do anything right. So uh, I left him out and brought in Minerva. In Thanos, I do have a tier 14 Thanos, which is really beefy. Uh, four red stars is not like, you know, insane, but he's still really, really powerful. And he's not going to die from a whole bunch of minion hits. So the great thing about him is he's going to keep feeding energy to Minerva because they're going to be getting lots and lots of uh, minion kills from the Red Skull summons, right? Not not the revives, the summons, right? Because they die very easily. So let's get into this. Um, the bleeds from Minerva on her basic and alt will also bleed through the uh, the death proofs and automatically kill them, right? So that's really nice too, is you don't have to worry about death proofs as much. And uh, Ultimus, I didn't mention this, Ultimus is special, uh, is an uh, area of effect attack, um, and it hits everybody adjacent to the target and it removes all buffs. Now you can see here, this is a flight deck, so they don't have any bonuses or anything. Uh, but as they start, you'll see a uh, few attacks here. Uh, let's see. Hmm. So I start with the Ultimus ult, and you'll see here it's a taunted uh, enemy, so he gets the offense up, hits him multiple times for all those buffs that he has, and it just destroys him. So here, I'm going to go ahead with uh, <laughs> Ronan and go ahead and cleanse that triple offense up. That's great. He won't do nearly as much damage. Now I can forget about him since we know we don't want to kill him. Now I also saw that this guard was almost, it was kind of low, and uh, <laughs> he, uh, he had a, a buff there to remove as well. I thought I could get rid of him with the uh, Ronan uh, assist, but that didn't happen. And I know that I'm going to get lots of kills here, so I might as well use the Minerva ult early, make sure Thanos stays is up and just keep going at it. That special from uh, Ultimus right there, it hit multiple characters, removed all those buffs, and uh, it cleared all the Red Skull minions, which is causing a whole bunch of turn meter for the Kree team, and it also gives a whole bunch of energy to Thanos and Minerva over here. Now, you could put Thanos like between you know somebody else, maybe Minerva and Ultimus or something like that, but I don't know. It's up to you guys how you want to play this. I, I think this is a really good core team, though, to counter Red Skull. And um, the only one of these that I really had doing anything is Minerva and Thanos. They were on a Min Guardians team for defense. Uh, but 
I can sacrifice that. It, all it did was just get power armored every time, so who really cares, you know? <laughs> it rarely got defense wins. <laughs> but you can see here, I'm just plowing through these minions. They can't really keep up with all of the stuff that I'm doing. And every time Ultimus gets a kill, they all get a bunch more turn meter and just keep rolling. And uh, it's crazy. So here, we'll call in the assist. And uh, you'll see here, Ronin attacks or strips those buffs and hits once more. Um, and there, he's down to nothing, right? So all the death proofs are gone because he took away one and then hit him again to remove the other. And then there's Thanos ult to heal up a little bit and do some more damage. And we're basically through all the charges, and that didn't take very long. Now, granted, this is a huge punch down, uh, 120k. Not, not indicative of what this team can really do but it is very promising because you saw all the control i got you saw all the turn meter that ultimus generated which is key um you know they're going to get lots of free turns with their reses and the you know the rifle trooper attacking every time he reses um I think it's really, really important to be able to control the fight. And uh, in this case, we have total control. They have no way of denting this team. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure with a, a little bit higher Red Skull team, this would be a little bit more difficult. Um, oh, this is an awesome finisher. Good job, Red Skull. Love it. <laughs> Getting blown off the map. Oh, man. But... You can see it's it's a, a good team that's well balanced for control and bleeds and buff removal and buff flipping. Um, it's just it's all around a perfect counter to the Red Skull team, I think. So I feel like this team could probably punch across at the same power, uh, but mine is 275k, which makes it pretty difficult um, it, 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 to say. Like I, I mean. I don't think we're going to see any Red Skull teams that are uh, that difficult for a while, right? People aren't going to have Red Skull beyond four to five stars for for quite some time unless they get really lucky or just spend a ton of cores. So I think this is a good good option. Uh, I think we could use this as a platform for building out a Kree team that's counter to Red Skull. I'm going to try to see if I can potentially remove minerva from it though and throw her back on guardians maybe thanos too. use royal guard and maybe cyborg or something instead uh, i'm just concerned that there won't be enough sustain because you know we need to be able to take a lot of hits and we need to be able to control the fight and i really like the way that minerva helps with that so i'll try some variants of it in the future but for right now i'm going to look for you know a 200k plus red skull in the next war that i can use this team against and just see how it does because uh, that one was a little bit too easy but I just wanted to show the proof of concept because I didn't really have any other options to fight. <laughs> there was a smaller Red Skull I could have fought, but that doesn't really help. So I figured this would be the best one to show. So uh, I hope you like that. I hope you uh, get to try something like this team, if, even if you don't have all these characters built up enough. Uh, I do think that it's the, the template for... Uh, a good team if you got Ronin and Ultimus uh, and Minerva. I think that's a great starting point. And then if you got Thanos, he's going to be awesome for f feeding energy. And uh, I like Noble just for the assist, but she's really not necessary. You could use a different Kree uh, or somebody else if you'd like. Um, I think there's some options there. You could even probably bring in like a Hawkeye or somebody like that that's not really being utilized right now and just use them for the buff strips and the blinds and stuff and uh, potentially removing stealth from uh, Sniper. So some good options there, and uh, I think it's a pretty good core team. So let me know what you think, and I'll see you later.